my sister Cory, and she's going to be helping me out today. Today we're going to be doing some ink, and we are going to have aprons on, but we don't have gloves, but I would re recommend you doing this if you're going to follow along. So, I'm going to show you a couple pictures. So, this is what the paper looks like. It's called Yupo paper, and you can get it in many different sizes. Yeah. And so, this is what it looks like. So you can just kind of collage with it, and we're gonna, we are gonna be using ink. So you can seeing. also, you can also, like, if you have like a white pen or something like that, like you can go Draw in and into add it. into it. Yeah. So here are a couple pictures of it, and then and then you can also frame it too. Yeah, if you it looks really to. pretty. You okay. saw like you can display and like see the, the like the little detail in it with like all the black and the white and the so, colors. So many colors. That one is one I created and Corey is right. I like to we're using alcohol ink as the basis and then I like to find um, find papers to put behind them and then draw back into them for the final product. Yeah, and so. when, and when you're done you can you can write your name with any color pen. Yes. Okay, so um, Tatum was right. This is the kind of thing where we need aprons. And yes, it is recommended that you use uh, gloves. gloves if you have them. Um, we're kind of not so we worried just go about, for we, it. Just, we, yeah, yeah, we, we just, we just go, go for, for it. it. We just Doesn't go matter. for it. Um, it'll it it'll wash matter. off in a couple days. <laughs> it is ink though, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we did have a pause because we needed to get our apron on and, and we needed to turn on the fan. It was kind of hot. And so we would really like for you, so if you're going to do this, you would like to have a placemat because you will need to use alcohol. And so it can sometimes stain your table if it's made out of wood. So we're just going to be we're not really going to line it up today we're just going to be pulling it out and so can you show them what the alcohol gonna... ink looks like yes so it looks like this and how do you know what color it is um it's because of this you read it, it so it's orange. it says alcohol ink on it and it says sunset orange on it okay it just it's really small so you can't really see it and so usually we set them up how when we're using them. We like ordering them. We like from, ordering them from, from coolest <laughs> to warmest. And yeah. this is what has alcohol in it. It's a little bottle that you squeeze. And this is the alcohol that we recommend using. Well, yeah, it's just regular like, regular rubbing alcohol. Sometimes we also can use this alcohol. This is blending alcohol from um, Ranger Ink. So most of our inks are the same brand. They're Ranger inks. Um, they're just the ones I've found that I like the best. So um, that's kind of where we go. This is like another one of those, but it's uh, it's a different cool color. brand. It's like this. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same brand. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys ready? All right. So right now we have all of the inks, the ink set up. So this is the colors that I wouldn't use. And these are the sprays, so um, that Do we the sprays usually work like. Well, no, I would probably shake them up before you start using them, because oh. well, it sometimes it clogs up, so it's it gets really frustrating. So, so we do have a straw for me to blow, because um, I like. I like spreading it all around, and so. What right, other tool do you have? Um. So we have this kind of stick kind of thing, and you use it, Can you show to, it to swirl us? around. Corey. Thank you. It's. It looks like this, and you use it to just kind of swirl around with the ink. So. All right. All right. So I'm gonna start with a pretty kind of maroon kind of pink color okay sometimes it can get a little crusty when there's some drips kind of like this see that yeah so we can use baby wipes to clear it off yeah baby wipes are awesome in the art studio oh, aren't yeah. they 
Yes, they are. We can use them from everything, from blowing our nose to wiping the table and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look at that pretty color. I'm excited to use this color on here. And Corey is going to be helping me a little bit on this. So here I just okay. made like a big kind of mistake, so I'm just kind of dabbing it everywhere. Is it a mistake? No, because mistakes can make beautiful things. Yes. Tatum made a big mistake. Why was it a big mistake? Well, I put some blue in it and then we tried to make it go away. So yeah, there's still some blue, but we tried our best to put it some warm colors back in. And is and it turning it out? out okay? Yeah. So So right now I'm just kind of frustrated, so I think you really need to know that Sometimes you're going to get frustrated with your work. And it's okay to get frustrated. Because frustrated, you can learn from things that way. Yeah. Yep. So were you a little angry? Yeah, I was. Now how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Because you got through it. What are you doing right now? So right now I'm just trying to make it drip. And while you're dripping, are you considering the next steps? So the next step is letting it dry and then maybe going back into it if you want. Yeah, I think you could add the gold that you wanted to add on top after yeah. it dries. Yeah, that would look pretty. Okay, so for so now, what do you want to tell the viewers? So, what I'm thinking is... So yeah, you always want to have gloves on if you have them, but for right now, we just kind of go into it because we love doing art. And so the other thing is, please watch my sister, Corey. She is going to do awesome with her cooking channel that she's going to make, okay? All right. Thanks. So please leave some subscribes on that. Subscribe. <laughs> oh, they, you want subscribers on Techniques with Tatum? And give it a and big thumbs up. And cooking with? Corey. Corey.